I like to fight in the cage and smash somebody. It's too easy. Yeah, too easy. I do smash somebody, you get money, brother. It's <laughs> perfect for me. I gonna smash everybody. How many fighters in the MMI division? I gonna smash all the whole division. is talking about Hamzat uh, Shemaev. Hamzat Shemaev, middleweight, welterweight. I mean, I think the biggest question that I have for you is, um, you know, I think a lot of people have this question is, who are you? I'm the wolf, brother. <laughs> so hungry. <laughs> we, we eat everybody, brother. <laughs> so, so you were born in Chechnya, and, and when did you move to Sweden? Uh, seven years before I, I was 19. Okay. And what did you move there for? This was war in my country. Uh, like everybody knows Chechnya, so like before how they was. And you said you got in street fights in Chechnya? Like a lot of them? Yes, brother. <laughs> It's, it's normal for Chechnya, but it's always happening. It's a oh. great country, but... And when you went to Sweden and you went to that mixed martial arts gym, were you done with the sport of wrestling? Or no, I, 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 I did wrestling also here. I was with the... I, I compete. I've been many times Swedish. Six times Swedish champion. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Then, but in the wrestling, you don't... Uh, can, you can only only this medal brother no money nothing brother <laughs> yeah, i have to do i have to change my uh, life you know because i have to make it but I, my friend he told me you can make money now uh, i can stick now that i switch uh, how you can make money with the uh, beat somebody smash somebody like then i come to the upstairs then i understand like yeah really my, i can make money like this guy Fix my life like that. Hamza came in like maybe three years ago and he was just a wrestler. No MMA, no grappling, no striking. And uh, from day one, I saw that he had the eye of the tiger. He was a uh, savage. He would not accept the defeat. I once got a call like with Alex and he reminded me a little bit of, a, of, a, of Kamza as well. I got a call. Exactly the same way, I got a call, this is a beast here. He coming in he's, and he's beating up guys that are like uh, doing this for like a, a long time. And he's, uh, he's only been doing it for like one month. And uh, I was thinking to myself, who is this guy? Toughness is something that you have inside you. And I saw that he had the toughness. He was aware, willing to go to war. And with that, like we, we're building something uh, devastating. Now you go to Buren, so you will need to work there, both a fighter, so some morning fighter. Now you are matching, you you don't have respect for him. Now you are just matching Buren. All I say, health and so so, you will need help. After matching, one can you respect in matching, in meeting. They are krig i buren. This is like a bra, so there is no real right blueprint for to win against him. Let's go see. Can you take his time? Yes, that's it. That's where he is there. He is swimming. Vi har en vinst på submission första ronden. 
The Beast from the East. Ja, verkligen. Blackout before tap out. Ja, verkligen. Kamza Chimayo, All Stars Gym Civil. I don't know how this is going, but I know I'm gonna smash this guy. I'm better than him and everything. I'm the best. I'm ready for it. And off we go in this one. Oh, there's the low kick. There's the fast start. Whoa! Whoa. These guys are fighting like they want to to be! Whoa! Oh! oh my god! My god! Here go. Marco bites his feet. Oh! What is it? It almost looks like you're like you're playing Street Fighter and you have someone button mashing at this point. Oh my god! Oh, he got elbowed! Staggered! Peter back underneath him! There's a beautiful spin of bike kick landed to the body. He's gotta keep on throwing more and more of those leg kicks. Oh my oh. god! Catches the kick and drops him with the overhand. Oof! Drops him. That hand power. Oh! Something to behold. Devastating ground to point. Landing hammer fist after hammer fist on the dome of one point. Oh, big hammer fist. That's it. That's it. it. That's it's it. all over. Oh, oh, big one three for Sydney Wheeler to start. And Sid is down. But Shibai has shots coming in. And heavy shots landing on him. That tight waist is a great wrestling control that he has there. Just a fence. The all star the all star fighter taking down the wrestling state champion and controlling it with the wrist here. Those are huge strikes. Oh, oh, oh. So why not continue down that avenue? Yeah, I think he's listening to you. <laughs> it's shot landed by Shimiev. He's been utter violence and same thing. He's tasted the power of Shimiev. What a leg kick. We heard that rattle through the arena. Another crushing leg kick thrown in by uh, the hands up. Oh, the Oh man, you're making me miss that show. Strange air of expectancy when you have beaten two guys of this caliber. Big takedown by Boris Shumayev. And your, and your friend of me, he gobs the beautiful back down, which then leaves him vulnerable for the strikes. Very intelligent. Changes levels and looks for that takedown again. And got the two hands clasped. Go side. He's going to run over to his corner. Oh, he went full back. Oh, beautiful. And that's an extremely smart move again. Take him to your corner. If you can, why not on this side? You're able to listen to your coaches there. He has two amazing coaches. He trains with some of the best in the world. He's going for the Dars. He needs to lock up the legs. He's to get oh, he's trying to get it. Trying to stay on top of this 100% finish rate. Halonga is trying his best to move. And he's doing the right thing. He's trying to, to prevent. Oh, that looks tight. in this position as well. Oh, he's, oh, he's, out. Out. he's out. He is out. And that is it. Hamza Shimmy. Now I have to show to these people like who I am, like to smash everybody, to make my take my belt and uh, show to these guys who, who is the best in the world. I mean MMA Mike Tyson, I mean MMA Muhammad. I'm gonna show it to everybody. This fight is three rounds in the UFC. Main
middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Conrad Force Jumayev. Fight. John Phillips, plus 320, the underdog out of the southpaw stands in black. Kamzad. Oh, wow. Shot. Look at that, though. A beautiful head kick straight into a double leg. I mean, my word. Talk about executing your game. Yeah, that was really, really smart. Well, the significant oh, strength on the pile up. Total strength number there. Oh, oh, that help oh, 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 He's Louise. the work. So control left, so didn't get it finished, didn't get it back. Right. 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 Round, round one, excuse right. me, Chimaev 72, John Phillips 1. Perhaps that's why Hamzad was smiling. Yeah, he that. was smiling, he didn't look like he was tired at all. In fact, the corner of John Phillips just said, are you happy? He's like, yeah, I'm delirious. I've just been smashed in the face 75 times. Oh, oh, he's got the knee on the belly. It was also a tough weight cut, seemingly, for John Phillips. He said he was lighter during the fight, but he was the last to weigh in. And only had And he stays undefeated with an absolutely outstanding debut. Oh man, you couldn't ask for a better debut. You come out, you do something sneaky, it looks good, you get the takedown, your ground and pound is ferocious, you go to the second round, so you get a little bit of experience, right? I mean, for a guy that's young in his career to go out there and get that kind of a finish, is fantastic. I want to fight next week. Doesn't matter when, is that today, tomorrow. Is One that more fight, I'm so hungry. Is that what you said to UFC President Dana White? You're going to stay yeah. here in Abu Dhabi, yeah? Yeah. To to Alex, go fight also. So, I, uh... I'm waiting here. So if you have fight, give me fight. This guy is one of the most special fighters I've ever seen, if not the most special guy that I've ever come across. The guy's special. I've been in this game my whole life. I've never seen anything like him. He's special. He's different. He wants to fight again. All the fights that I've had, you've had guys that'll be like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to turn around. I want to turn around fast. And, you know, let me go. See, let me see how I feel tomorrow. Let me talk to my team. Let me do this. Let me do this. Guy's like, I want to fight again here on Fight Island. I was like, really? So you, you want to fight again while we're here? He's like, yeah. So I turned him around. I called everybody and said, I'm going to do it. We're going to turn this kid around. Let's talk about the one that's opening, it's breaking through the curtain. And Hamzad Chemaev, he was appearing here 10 days ago and he got a win outside of his natural weight class against John Phillips as a middleweight. Paul, he's back. Yes, he is. And uh, very soon after his last fight. There is Hamzat Borj Chemaev against Reese Skeletor okay, McKee. Yes. Ready, ready, let's go. Fives in the welterweight division and oh. straight away straight in. we see Hamzat shoots in and he's going to pick him up and put him in his own corner. I nice. see that was a good job there from Reese to, to control the inside of that leg so he could exactly. fully pick him up and slam him but ultimately he gets him where he wants him. He's turning, he's got that wrist control. Look at this control from Jemayev here. Oh, big hammer right here with some big blows here. Oh, he had to eat a couple of these on his way up. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, so vicious. Look at strikes. He is strikes. going to town. He's like pressure. Yeah, this is unbelievable right now. Look Fresh, at this. Get out of there. Get out of there. That might be it. Just want to do that. It's another win for Hamzat Chemaev. He is a wrecking ball. Wow. At welterweight as well. 2 0 in the UFC. My friend, I enjoyed your performance last week, and that was even more impressive. Where is the ceiling for you? Where is your limit? I don't know, but uh, I can fight after one hour, maybe. <laughs> if you give me one fight, if somebody injured, it, just tell me. I'm here. I'm going to smash everybody. Give me, give me champion, 84 kilos, 77 kilos. I'm going to smash both. Same day. Easy work, easy money. So what's the end goal? A belt over each shoulder, two weight classes? Yeah, no problem. Two, three. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> my you. friend. That was Thank incredibly impre impressive. You.
Uh, before we look ahead to the month of August, you, you coming back here in Vegas, what was your biggest takeaway from Fight Island in terms of the fights themselves? Who had the standout performance of, of the first trip to Fight Island? Hamza. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, the guy is, is so dominant, so confident, wants to continue to fight every weekend. Um, I love it. I, I love guys with that mentality. I love, uh, you know, how talented this guy is, you know, we threw the hottest prospect out of, out of the UK at him. And that kid is a badass, mm -hmm. legit, great fighter. And, uh, he made it look like he didn't belong there. You look at the punch stat that ESPN put out, you know, in, in, in a, in a two fight, what was it? 156 to two or 160 something to two. Um, the kid's legit. He's real. And he knows it. And I love it. <laughs> Did you get to did you get to interact much with him personally? 192 to two. Yeah, and through two fights. And two fights. Yeah. Yeah. Did you interact with him much personally while you were there? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, he said he wanted to fight. And uh, I said, done. Mm -hmm. I'll make it happen. Mm -hmm. He wants to fight now again in August, and I'm gonna get him what he wants. Are you? Is he gonna get a fight here in August? Hell yes, I am. <laughs> Round three, Jerry brought to you by P3, Jerry the Jerry official Jerry protein Jerry. snack of UFC. Bob Cook seeming to intimate in the Duran Wynn corner that it is 1-1. Duran Wynn needs to go get a takedown. Even if he doesn't... Oh, it looked like Joe hurt him. It looked like Joe Mircea hurt him. Oh, bad. he might have. Submission wins coming in for Mershart. He's oh, got it across the neck. Yep. He's got to be tight. he has got to be real, tight. Yeah. Real He's trouble. in trouble. He's in real trouble. Yeah, it's over. This one's over. There's yep. the Gerald Mershart gets it done. He submits to run win in Vegas. Who's got the first question? Dana, yeah, of course. The, of course. Hamza, how about you? I mean, do you at all wish maybe this news hadn't got out that you have two fights lined up? Because uh, it, it seems like it's put a, a big target on your back. <laughs> now I'm here. I'm going to smash these guys. <laughs> Gerald, I want to ask you because you've been asked nonstop about this. I mean, it's all anybody wants to ask. So, and you said, hey, I get it. I understand why they're doing it totally. But having to talk about it over and over and over, is this starting to get annoying and maybe like a little bit personal for you? I, you know, I, I take it as somewhat disrespectful, yeah, because uh, I feel like uh, Hamza's looking past me a little bit. But again, I don't blame him. I don't blame Dana. If I was those two guys, I'd be doing the exact same thing. So they're doing what they're supposed to do. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm coming in. I'm the crafty vet. I'm a tough guy, and I'm going to show them that this time you bit off more than you can chew. How many times you lose your fights? Oh, I've lost quite a few <laughs> fights. 31 and 32. You, you, you think you're a black belt? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, when you Jack fight Hermanson, tough guys, Jack Hanson, Jack Van Hermansen, I'm not. He, he did not have a black belt. Why he, he choke choke you out? All right, if you choke me out, I'll find a black belt, give it to you. How about that? If I choke you out, you will finish with this sport. Okay, if I double leg you, do I get like a wrestling trophy or something? If you double leg me, <laughs> try. It. Okay, I will. I'm gonna smash your face. How are we gonna stop I'm that? I'm sure you think. How are you gonna stop that, yo? I'm probably uh, gonna beat you up. Is what's gonna happen? You, you and look at my thing, fight. You, you look at my last fight. No punches. Like how many punches are he face to his face? His face. Dude, I can. You had a little bit bigger, but I can't understand what you're saying. Me, uh, Speak clearly, or something. All right. This fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Gerald. GM3 Mearshart! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, by way of Shetchenyo, Russia, Hamzat Bors Chubayev! Well, ready, Mearshart is plus 360. This fight clock is brought to you by Modelo. Mearshart out of the South Boss dance in blue. Chimaev Orthodox in black. Maya straight on the pressure, like he always does. Oh, oh, so oh, 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 just like that! Oh, comes up, Shimaya! One and done! Declaring the winner 
by knockout Hobbs at Boars Chamaya. Ah! All right, we are now joined by the now 9-0 Hamzat Shimaev. Dana White just made his way over here. I think he's coming back to find you. What else can you say, man? 17 seconds tonight. Congratulations on a Thank huge you. win. Thank you very much. So, 50 Gs, baby. <laughs> well, hey, man, no argument for me. What's going through your head as you're making the walk out here tonight? Uh, kill this guy. Let's get him. Ah, just knock him out yeah. like I did. Well, you certainly did just that. You were sort of patient on the feet, but it seemed like after throwing a kick, the first punch you landed, landed flush. I know you wanted to show off your hands tonight. Mission accomplished, I guess. Congrats on a big win tonight. Thank and you very much. I think I speak for the whole world when I say we look forward to the next I one, young man. I hope is going to give me 50 Gs. Kamzat Chimaev gets it done in 17 seconds tonight. As he disposes of Gerald Murchard, and there's a nice moment between fighter and promoter. A lot of smiling. To be done, I would think, in the future for Hamzat Chimaya. Welcome, everybody. We're in Fight Island. We're at the Fighter Hotel, and I am joined by current sports superstar. I mean, there's no other way of putting it. Hamzat Chimaya. How are you, my friend? I'm good, brother. How are you? I'm really good. I'm really good. Just go back to before you made your UFC debut. Can you, can you imagine, could you have pictured it to be like this? Did you think it would be like this? Yeah, but uh, when I start MMA, I always think I'm going to be champion in, in the UFC. But I, I, it's, now it's going so crazy fast, you know. See, I was thinking yeah, it's going to be like that. You've had three very impressive performances in the UFC now, but they've all been so fast and so dominant that nobody wants to fight you. Because I did hard work, nobody trained hard like me. I see in the fight uh, when they look again fighting against me when he stay in the cage. I see how much he wanted that, how much I want that. And that's the difference. Yeah, you can see that they don't want it as much as you. Yeah. Do, do, you, do you think maybe you, your fights were too dominant and that's why people don't want to fight you? Maybe you could have made it look a bit more difficult for yourself. <laughs> Yeah, of course, why not? <laughs> See, I, like I say, I want to fight only for... I've been... I, I, I'm born for fighting. I, I feel always like I, I feel also my... You know, when I go to the cage like all the time, you know, like... I'm gonna kill somebody now and take my... my, my gold. <laughs> I like to fight. If I win my fight, I win my fight. Oh, he, he have to kill me if I lose this fight. T tell the fans what you would like for the future. Tell, tell the fans where you'll be in five years, son. <laughs> I'm gonna smash everybody, like I say. It's future. My future, smash everybody. <laughs> Soon I'm gonna get this belt. I wanna say uh, thanks for everybody like supporting me. I feel that so, because more motivation I have, like when they support me, I'm more smash. Then we out. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you very much. Good talking to you. Thank you. Показать всему миру, что наши бойцы самые лучшие. Я думаю, что рано или поздно мы покажем, что, что у нас самые лучшие бойцы. И Виси, и Ахмад стенку на стенку сделали турнир. И посмотреть, кто, у кого сильнейшие бойцы. Но я думаю, что зрелищные будут бои, биться будет до конца. У нас лозунг «Лучше смерть, чем быть вторым». Мой с Леоном Эрбатом. Можно узнать, где-то из-за коронавируса вы снились с боя? С боя, да. Как вы получили 
Да, ну это было месяц назад, но сейчас восстанавливаюсь, выздоровался, буду тренироваться дома. What's up, everybody? Brent Okamoto from ESPN. Very excited to talk to this man, uh, Hamzat Shamayev, who, of course, had a breakout year in 2020. We were scheduled to see him uh, in March of 2021. That didn't happen. Uh, I think the world knows why by now. I'm excited to, uh, to talk to him about how he's doing. And let's start there, Hamzat. How, how are you and, and how are you feeling? I'm good now. I'm, 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 I'm healthy. Like, I'm doing training here. It's like in Chechnya, my country. Were you yeah. Just, what What were you feeling? I guess like like what were your symptoms with COVID? Like feeling like pain in my like what is this? <laughs> your lungs? I don't know. Yeah, lungs. I feel pain there. Like when I blood, like when I come out sometimes. I come back to my country. They here also. They help me. I did my house surgery. I did operation here. And they took out some stuff like I don't know how to explain it in English. And now I feel much better. I can wait more. Like I was like 93 kilos. Feel me stronger. Now just start to train with my team and uh, find somebody to kill. Everybody, I promise you guys.